Nice. Wow. Did a really good job on this interior. I wanted to give a special shout out to Tate Chrysler here in Frederick, Maryland. Be sure to check out their inventory. They allowed me to do this video today and they have a huge selection of Chrysler Dodge Sheet Rams. Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a 2021 Ram 1500 and this is going to have the built to serve package on it. So really excited to show you this truck. I tried to do this video a while ago but they sold the truck so quickly. I didn't have a chance to do it, so let's go ahead and get into it. But before we get started, let's look at the window sticker. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a 2021 Ram 1500 Bitcoin Crew Cab four-wheel drive. Base price is going to be 43,465, and this does have the base 57. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And here's all your standard equipment listed just right here. 321 rear axle is going to be standard on this truck too. Starting off, the options is your trailer tow group. Built to serve is 2795. And you also have Bighorn Level 2 equipment too. And that package pretty much gives you pretty much everything you could ever want. And this does have medium graystone accent stitching. 392 rear axle. As I mentioned, this does have the standard 5.7, 1795. And then U-Connect is 795. Now you do get the screen, but it just comes without navigation. And that's everything else that comes in that package. Destination comes in at $16.95 with a total price of $54,135. And here's your fuel economy numbers on the side. So as you guys just saw, this is gonna be a Bighorn. You can only get the built to serve package with the Bighorn and Lone Star package. And the built to serve is gonna pretty much change the front end. Your grill, your headlights, your lower bumper here are all finished in black, look really nice. These LED headlights are really good. I have them on my Laramie, and they are gonna be LED low beam and high beam. You're also gonna have an LED daytime ready light, LED fog lights just below, and your turn signals also are gonna be LED too. Off to the side, you guys can see they do darken your emblems right here, and also the RAM emblem. They give you a graphite color wheel, so it's gonna be a little different from what you see on the night edition package. It is a 20 inch, and this is gonna be a 275 55 20 wheel and they do raise the suspension it's a little bit more uh, off-road oriented on this too and check out your mirrors they are going to be blacked out with your door handles also around the windows there's not a lot of bright on this truck so it's pretty nicely balanced and i love this flame red too you can also get a color called tank if you like i think i could like that color a little bit better though but be sure to jump on this if you want it because these trucks are a limited production and they sell pretty quickly just below here you can see the running boards they're all blacked out and you can get a 26 gallon or a 33 gallon gas tank on this too and if you're getting a big corn level one or level two it is required with the 33 gallon tank It's 445 dollars so I don't know why dealerships just don't click the button for that. So that's just my opinion. Be sure to just opt for the 33 gallon tank. And here is your built to serve badge. Really like the way this looks. I didn't mention this earlier, but this is gonna be the Marine uh, theme for this truck. And like I said, you have this in the flame red and in the tank, which is like an army green color. Out back, you do have the LED tail lights and they are dark in two, like what you would see on a night edition package your big horn and all your badges out back are blacked out same thing goes for the bumper and they do give you the black exhaust tips too size 4 receiving hitch just below you have a 7 and 4 pin connector these are going to be led lights for your license plate too and they do give you an assisted tailgate spray bed liner is optional so if you like that be sure to option it and you do have an availability for led lights too tailgate is really easy to put up and you can see where they put the camera, which is on the tailgate. This is actually black accented too. Overall though, really nice truck. I like the way it looks, really aggressive too. All right guys, so when you open the door, you do have a fabric material here. Check out your accents on the interior. It looks really nice, black door handle. I got this off of the limited 
you do have power windows obviously you can close the mirrors automatically with the buttons and soft touch here here and up top but there's some hard plastics pretty much everywhere else cup holders just below love the slush mats too they do go pretty far up here especially when you're hitting that gas pedal so when mud and stuff doesn't hit the carpet on the side and then same that goes here is raised right here too you do have power seats and check out the design that they have on this thing i mean this is so cool love the way this looks you have an adjustable headrest i think this is like the diesel gray is what they call this stitching in here too so this is like a like a leather et and then you have cloth in the center here i love the velcro here if you want to put your your badges on you can put them on the sides of the seats one there and one on the side here really really nice love this truck Nothing's really changed. If you put it in the run position, you can see it shows you big horn in the screen here. You also have your window controls on the side. And as far as your information in the screen, let's check it out. So they pretty much give you all the same things that you would see on these trucks here. I'm not gonna really take too much time to go over this with you, but feel free to pause it. And they have an off-road setting. This is fairly new. And it shows you the pitch and roll. Fuel economy. Trip information, A and B. Trailer, shows you the distance. Uh, trailer brake, trailer light check. They do give you trailer tire pressure system. And it goes back to the beginning. Audio, any messages that could be stored uh, for the truck, screen setup, and speedometer. And that should be it. Yep, it takes you back to the vehicle information. Now, if you move over to the right of the screen, push button start, which is standard for these trucks. And here's your full drive and your gear shifter. You do have an axle lock too out back and then downhill assist. You can get this with the 12 inch display. It's going to cost you two grand. So this is $795 with navigation. You do have Apple CarPlay too. Now this truck does only have heated seats. I do wish that they would have given this option to a Laramie or maybe even a Limited because when you retire from the military, you deserve the best of the best. All is not lost though if you don't get the 12 inch because they still give you your heated seat buttons outside of the screen. If you get the 12 inch, you have to go through the screen like you saw to set up your heated seats. But they do give you the buttons down here. Your dual climate controls outside of the screen too. And this does have the trailer package that you guys saw. So you have your trailer brake here, trailer steering, and you can set up the lights and things like that too. Tow haul mode, you have your parking sensors, front and rear, and then traction control. Check out all of your space down here too. You have four USBs, a spot for maybe a wallet, a small wallet. You can set your phone right here. They do have a plug just below too. And check out how deep this center console is it's really deep two cup holders and they also give you storage for coin holder so we won't spend too much time in the 8.4 but if you would like to customize this like they have this little menu you can drag things over you can put in place of things if you don't want the am to show it's like your quick view helps when you're driving down the road not to be trying to find things so you can just set this up before you drive your climate control they do give you your controls inside of here too and you do have a standalone button that you can push to get there also as far as your climate goes to here's what everything looks like you can control it up top and yeah I mean there's so many different ways to customize this um, very clear uh, let's go back to controls I want to show you the backup camera while we're here and you can zoom in very clear like in the past the cameras have never really been that great but GM and Ram have really just stepped up and made these cameras really, really clear. I think Ford's third place here. Now, as far as your center console goes, this is gonna be soft touch. It feels like a vinyl material. And if you pop it up, you have storage here. But what's even cooler is they give you a lock box. And you hear that? That is heavy duty metal. I mean, look at the welds on the side of this thing. My goodness, they went all the way. Now they do give you the keys in here too. Toughy security. So if you lose these keys, you know who to call. 
And yeah, it is lockable too, so you can lock it right there. Love that, that they did that for this truck. So if you have a nine mil you wanna drop in here, or 45, it'll fit. You can definitely protect that and lock it in there. Up top, you do have incandescent bulbs. I kind of wish, like I said, this was a Laramie or even a higher trim because they would give you LED lights. Home links on the side. You can slide that rear glass if you like. And then they have your SOS and if you need assistance and you have a place to put your glasses up top, you could do the same with some storage and they give you a power outlet. And this is auto dimming too, by the way. This is the passenger side of the truck. So pretty much everything is the same. Now they do give you a built to serve badge. Normally you would see the big horn listed out, but they do give you built to serve. Really nice touch. Storage up top and below. And they do give you an LED light inside of this glove box. Out back, the same design cues as you saw up front follow the back of the interior. Sometimes they don't give you as nice as a door panel back in the rear, but they do that back here. Same thing goes for the seats out back. Really nice design, it's that diesel gray color for the interior, incandescent bulb. Now something that's a little different back here, they do give you, this is a, I think it's a Molly strip panel, and it's just going to give you extra functional customization for the rear. And you still have those four USBs, type A's and C's, additional power plug, cup holders, and check out the amount of space you have flat floor surface. I mean, I could easily sit center seat, front and center, as they would say in the military, and be extremely comfortable. Like, at least how far back this seat is up front. I mean, check this out. I can easily fit right here. And as far as your storage goes, you can get a storage compartment back under the seat. You just have to opt for it. This truck does not have it. And these rear seats, do not recline, which is why, again, I wish they would offer this on a Laramie or up. That way you could have some more of these types of features. All right, guys, so we're going to take it for a quick drive. Overall, I mean, this truck rides really good. Um, I have the e-torque in my truck, and realistically, you can't, you can't really tell a difference on the performance when you're just driving. but I could tell that eco mode comes on pretty easily in this truck though. I, I don't normally see my eco mode come on in the e-torque. One thing I notice is on the five sevens without e-torque, they don't give you a stop start. So that's actually maybe a benefit or a curse for some people. I do like to stop start on the e-torque trucks because the system doesn't have any lag. So when you take your foot off, the brake can go accelerate the truck actually goes i mean it doesn't have like a stutter or anything like that you almost can't even feel it start off in my opinion but yeah i mean this truck handles really really nice i like these falcon tires they're pretty quiet i mean they're not extremely aggressive tires but if you want to run these until they're bald i mean I, I would probably do that and then upgrade to something a little bit more aggressive but overall man this truck it feels good i mean they say this truck is slightly raised. I don't know what that really means. I don't know if they gave it the Rebels suspension just to give it a little bit more of a heightened appearance, but it does feel like it's a little bit higher. Or maybe it's because my seat's so high up. Let me just put my seat down. Maybe that might help. <laughs> but yeah, the truck does feel like it's slightly higher than my Laramie. Here's a quick acceleration for you. A truck has really good power really good performance I'm noticing that the interior is kind of loud like I can hear a lot of the outside noises like that truck going by was extremely loud inside the truck yeah everything is really nice to look at inside the interior and this truck is really really comfortable I love these seats and yeah, I could take this on a three four hour trip and feel good under the hood of this built to serve you do have just a standard 5.7 liter Hemi. This is going to be good for 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. 
This does have fuel saving technology called MDS, it's multi displacement system, and it will drop down to four cylinders if you're just cruising at normal speeds. I almost forgot to mention it is made it to the 8 speed 8 HP 75 transmission. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do a acceleration test. Here we go. Not bad. It does feel a little bit down from my e-torque truck. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head. I mean, this truck is new too. I mean, so it needs time to break in. But overall, not bad for acceleration. I mean, I would give it a a six out of a ten for a truck like this. I feel like the uh, Chevy Silverado with that 6.2, it really just goes. Taking a look at the numbers, you do have a gross axle weight rating up front at 3,900 pounds. The rear is gonna be 4,100 pounds. Gross wheel weight is 71. They do raise this when you get the 5.7 liter V8. All in, payload capacity is gonna be 1,565 pounds. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.